Hey everybody, Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. I'm gonna wait for some of you to jump on. I know that all of you have been reaching out all day, all night, asking so many questions. Am I clear? A mess, just like everybody else is a mess. Hold on a second, guys. Bear with me. Okay. I want to share some news with everybody. Um, I just received two calls, uh, two confirmation that the we all know we've been heartbroken about Zora. Um, it has consumed myself, my entire team, the world has been consumed of poor Zora. Um, nobody can sleep. Everybody's crying. I'm getting calls continuously about Zora. And I, I, I literally, I close my eyes and, and it's all I see. I wake up. Um, you know, we've been working very, very hard on this case. And uh, we've, we've, we just got two phone calls to confirm that the perpetrator that stole the car um, has been apprehended and has been brought in. Uh, we had, I literally just was making up posters, getting ready to call them in, to start putting them all around the area uh, where the car was found. I don't have any details whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> and I can only tell you that I got two two calls con confirmed that the piece of shit that stole the car with Zora in the back and left her in the car abandoned um, that that died a horrific death uh, has been apprehended and you know I'm gonna tell you something I thought that there, there was a moment when I heard this that I was so happy excited um, I have to tell you Carol, yes. There's a part of me that I'm. I just, I'm. I'm, I'm all over the place with emotions. Um, I thought I was going to be ecstatic about this, and I am. I am. I am so happy that they caught him, but I am still so sad that Zora's not here. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you and everybody out there that has been sharing and trying to help um, <clears throat> I want to say that um, a, a, a reward is pretty much not needed uh, at this time I don't know what the details are we will keep you posted as we receive more information um, I do want to stay focused on the next part of this horrific situation and we want to do some sort of a memorial. We will be talking to Wanda, Zora's mom, um, as to what her wishes will be and make sure that she gets the proper uh, good burial, goodbye. Um, we want to celebrate her and uh, we're gonna, we'll, we'll keep you posted because I saw a lot of new text message from Jamie Katz. I saw a lot of comments on social media um, that text I'm getting texts like Cox. crazy. Uh, sorry. Um, okay. Uh, but I've seen a lot of posts on social media about people wanting to do something. They feel helpless that this has consumed them. I'm getting calls from all states um, getting convicted. A friend of ours on here is... A detective and she's stating now the real uh, the real battle begins is to that's get exactly what that's I was right thinking. is to get that's why him I'm not ecstatic convicted to um, remain focused on, on we can't let him get away with this and a slap on the wrist we need to to really figure out what we can do as a community to make sure that he gets the maximum penalty he killed Zora he took Zora's life in a horrific way. Uh, I don't want to lose sight of that. I, I am happy that, I'm so happy that he's caught. Um, 
but I also want us to all stay focused as a community and to make sure that he receives the maximum penalty and that is up to the authorities you have to understand that is up to the authorities and we need to be that voice behind we know from the case of Ollie um, there's so many haunts uh, there's so many cruelty cases that it's the voices of the world the community that make sure that justice is served and again uh, I could ramble on and on and on um, but I have a lot of calls that are coming in and I have a lot of calls to make but I wanted to jump on the second that I received this information that the perpetrator of uh, the person that stole the car from the Dollar Tree on North Andrews in Oakland Park uh, with Zora in the back sitting on a pillow waiting for her mommy to come out this man got into the car and he drove this car and he dropped the car off in sunrise in a parking lot at a at a apartment complex boardwalk parked the car and the dog Zora was in the back and she died in the back of the car and I cannot even wrap my head around the horrific last moments of her life. So guys, I want you to stay angry and I want you to all pull together. We need to rally together for Zora. We don't want this to just go away. We need to be her voice. We need to have a beautiful ceremony, a memorial um, to celebrate her, but we also need to be that voice and be angry. So let's all rally. We'll keep you posted on any new information that comes into us. Um, I just want to say thank you for the outpour of love and support through this horrific situation. Um, it should never happen. And I, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say right now. Um, our prayers go out to Wanda, her mom. Um, and again, Thank you to each and every one of you that played a part in this, whether you were far and you prayed and you sent out your love and your support. Uh, I just am at a loss for words right now. So this is Amy signing off on, what's today, Wednesday at 7.56 p.m. with our update on Zora, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.